Hey, Pack Saints. Uh, Coach Jay coming to you with a little bit of video review. I just want to quickly go over uh, breakout support breaking out on the weak side, so not always putting up the strong side. Taking away the middle of the ice, uh, and then we're going to look at some PK habits and skills that are needed for us to have success on our penalty kill. All right. All right, so this first clip is just great PK forecheck. F1 does a good job. Uh, forcing F2s in the middle, he can jump either way, and he does that and does a great job of taking away that puck. We just need to get that 200 feet. Uh, now when we get in, we're a little chasey. We kind of run around a little bit too much. Uh, once again, we don't mind if that puck goes to the outside. We want to take the middle away, uh, and we're a little bit too chasing. Good job by the D in front of the net, though. When we talk about uh, being in the middle of the ice, 13 and 22 are way too far out to the wide sides. We want to stay inside the dots, uh, definitely there, so we can take the middle of the ice away. So this clip, guys, great job on this offensive zone draw. Quick shot by the D-man. Great job by the forward to win that back. The only thing we need here, guys, uh, is to make sure that we get body position and take away those goalies' eyes. But really good job. So here, guys, we're going to look. Um, we, we, we turn this puck over at the blue line, uh, and they put it back in. So now our defenseman has it, and the thing I want to encourage our D with is to get our feet moving north uh, and to skate until we're first pressured. Uh, and one of the things you're going to see a lot, and I want you to have uh, confidence with the puck and be able to control it, but this white forward right here, this shirt park forward, is going to turn his feet, uh, and he's just going to do a circle and exit the zone. So as a defenseman, we don't need to move that puck that quick. Uh, because what we're doing is our forwards are also aren't supporting the puck uh, and we're not coming back to the puck. We're just skating north uh, and we move it in his feet and we lose possession. So guys, here's a great example of how we need to move the puck to the weak side. So number two does a good job. He shoulder checks once. Uh, then he shoulder checks again over here. And we recognize pressures on the strong side. So this puck needs to be moved to the weak side. Our goaltender and our net front D need to be aware of that and call that over. So there's a great opportunity for an over and we'd get out other, rather than we just turn the puck up uh, and they pick it off in the middle of the ice. We need to manage the puck better in this situation. So in the last clip, guys, we talked about moving the puck to the weak side on the breakout. Uh, and here we do a great job. So you can see all of their players are assembling on the side of the puck uh, and our D-man comes down. He reverses the flow, goes back to the weak side uh, of the ice, and our winger's wide open. And we get rewarded for this because uh, now we have a guy stretching because they've attacked, set up their forecheck on the strong side, uh, and we're able to hit that guy. Ooh, he's just on side there. Uh, it looks like Aiden Campbell, if I can pick that out. Uh, and he does a great job of regaining possession of that puck. Uh, and then beating the goalie up high. So really good job. Uh, once again, we get rewarded for playing it the right way uh, and making sure that we move the puck to the weak side on the breakout. So great job. Okay, guys, on this one, we lose the draw, but great job by both wingers to get out, get in the shooting lanes. Uh, both wingers do, and once again, the only way that that, that D-man has to go is back to the boards. Uh, he puts it down low, we turn it over, and we get a good opportunity off of that. So here's a great example, guys, of supporting the puck. Um, we work that puck off the wall, uh, and now we're in transition. And you guys have done a really great job in all these clips. Uh, when we're in transition, that's a great uh, read to see that defenseman was cheating over. Uh, we get it to our player, and once again, he buries that in the back of the net. So great job with that recognition, uh, but also great job to really support and outnumber the puck on the wall. Uh, and that's what leads to the goal. So once again, some keys to success uh, for us as a team to support that puck uh, and then attack in transition. So great job. Hey guys, here's a good clip. Great back pressure by both forwards here. Uh, allows us to turn the puck over uh, and we have good support. Move it D to D uh, and get a great opportunity uh, out of this here. Uh, and that once again comes from the great uh, back pressure by the forwards. Uh, in the neutral zone to turn that puck over. So really good job there as well. So guys, this clip here, once again, is a great example. Four check goes right to the strong side. Look at how many guys are outnumbered uh, there, and we turn the puck over 
uh, and they get a little zone time. They put it back in um, right here. Uh, but watch this time. Um, we bring them to the strong side, move it back to the weak side. Uh, a winger comes nice and low, a little chip. Uh, good support in the middle, and now we've got a two-on-one uh, and a great opportunity. Here, guys, um, is example once again for our defensemen uh, that we got to get aggressive and get our feet moving up ice, get north as quick as we can, and not move the puck until we feel that first bit of pressure. So that guy's quite a bit away, and we just move that puck, for, try for that big, long stretch pass, uh, and we turn that puck over and we get an icing call because of it. So once again, guys, I just want to keep reiterating and showing you the success that we have when we move that puck to the weak side. Uh, so once again, here that puck gets moved to the weak side, D. Uh, the winger comes nice and low. Once again, we move that puck to the middle, good support in the middle, uh, and we get a good chance off of that. Okay, guys, we're just going to watch some of their goals against here. Uh, once again, just to learn and get better. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job here. We kind of chased pucks. Uh, didn't get in shooting lanes. Didn't block the shot there on that one. Uh, once again here, we need to be hard on that puck and physical uh, on that guy. They just poke it through uh, and that guy gets a loose puck and puts it home. And then next here, we're coming up. Uh, once again, we have good D side positioning. We just have to be a little bit more aggressive on the puck here. Uh, and make sure that we attack the puck. They get a simple little two-on-one uh, and put that one home. Once again, we've got a good chance to get that puck out uh, to make something happen. We turn it over. They get a simple little chip. Now it's a two-on-one. Uh, the guy makes a great pass and buries that puck as well. So once again, guys, we want to make sure that we support the puck uh, and that we get pucks out. Uh, here, once again, we're not very aggressive on the puck. Uh, we're not as physical as we need to. And that's a great opportunity where we have to get in and block that shot. Uh, they turn it over down low uh, and get another opportunity. So shot blocking is huge. Uh, and we're going to watch a video here on shot blocking as well. Uh, and then here was the last goal by St. Albert. Um, we have a great opportunity uh, to get that puck on net five on three. The one thing we can't have is get it blocked. You can move it uh, or you can get it through, but we just can't get that puck blocked. And three different types of shot blocks. The first one here uh, is what I would call kind of a two-hand uh, slide. Um, so you're sliding while you're still skating. Uh, Barkov does a good job. The only problem there is he has his glove opened. So we want to make sure that we have our palms facing down, not palms facing up. Uh, we're going to look at another shot block here. And it's called a standing shot block, what Mark Hendricks does. But if you watch what Matt Hendricks does here, is he turns his foot just a little bit and takes it off the inside of the foot where we don't have uh, padding on our skate. So we want to make sure that we uh, keep our feet facing straight. Here Ryan Nugent Hopkins comes with another slide, uh, kind of a slide standing block. Great job by Nuge, gets his body in the lane. And you can see on that one that his feet are together. Uh, and then the last one is a sliding block. Uh, Gregory Campbell of the Boston Bruins does a great job of that. Once again, turns his face, uh, gets his feet uh, in the lane. Uh, and then the last one here is by my Marcus Granlin. Uh, another sliding block. Once again, his feet need to be a little more together, uh, and that'd be great. So here's some examples. This is the standing block. We want to get nice and big. We want to have our gloves out, so our palms down. Uh, and our feet together uh, and just use our body uh, to make sure that our body's in that shooting lane and our stick is in the passing lane. So no matter whether it's a quick shot and then now what we're going to is once again uh, our, our sliding uh, or diving block where you're going to come in and you're going to just slide feet first into the puck and it should hit us on the shin pads uh, or in the pants. That's the goal. We want to keep it away from our upper body uh, and even our hands. Uh, but once again here, it's just a dive, uh, and we want to try and take it in the, the knee pads. Uh, if we time it right, it's all about timing. That's what's going to happen. Um, here's a good example they're showing about how um, we want to keep our, our, our hands down and our palms down. We don't want to turn our palms up like he's showing right there. Uh, and they're going to show us a nice kind of sliding block here. Not a diving block, but just a slide block 
which I think is probably one of the best and, and have seen it used um, to the best um, uh, use. So just watch what they're going to do here. He's going to go into uh, showing how he's going to come out. Uh, and once again, we got padding on the entire um, part of this. So yeah, it takes a little bit. And you can see he starts uh, kind of in the middle here. And as that puck's moved over, he's going to come out uh, and try and get that shot block. Uh, 